Today we are at Talimul Islam College in Rabwa, the headquarter of the Ahmadiyya community worldwide. We are bringing for you a new video about this college. It could be very depressing for many old students because of building condition. At present, the old building of the college has been abandoned and a new building has been constructed in front of it. Our video is about the old building because it is the building that is historic and its students are currently in big positions all over the world. The foundation stone of Talimul Islam College Rabwa was laid by the second caliph on June 26, 1953. The foundation stone was the brick taken from the promised Messiah's home form Qadion. The foundation stone laying ceremony was very simple. After laying the foundation stone and everybody joined in the silent prayers, and then ten goats were given as sadka. Dr. Niaz and Taj Muhammad Kayal, Principal College, Faisalabad, came on July 24, 1954 for the initial inspection of the college from Punjab University, Lahore. On November 7, 1954, the college was shifted from Lahore to Rabwa. The second caliph of the community formally inaugurated it. One million rupees was spent on the construction of college building. Please subscribe, share and like our channel on your website for latest videos. The college building is very beautiful, but in 1974, when Bhutto's government nationalized all the Ahmadiyya schools and colleges of Ahmadiyya community, there was no one left to care for this great educational institution. Here when I am making this video and sharing this with you everybody can see the condition of the college building makes it clear that it has no caretaker. Currently, the condition of this building is very bad. Many rooms are about to collapse. Bats and other birds have made their nests in the rooms. The building is in a state of total collapse. Well, this is a sad story. Let's talk about some of the history of Talimul Islam College. When and how this great college came into existence and how many great people this college produced who spread the light of knowledge and peace all over the world. Talim Al Islam College is a government college located in Chanab Nagar, Pakistan. Originally it was founded in 1898 in Kadian, India by the Ahmadiyya community. Originally starting out as a middle school, the institution traces its roots to two rooms in a guest house located in Kadian. It was established to provide an Ahmadiyya-based curriculum in a town that had a small number of schools. Inaugurated on January 1898 as School Talim al-Islam, the school quickly became a high school within a three-year period. With a call from the community's founder, several of Promised Messiah's followers sacrificed positions in established institutions to dedicate their teaching skills to the recently established facility. 
This attracted students from various backgrounds including both Muslims and Hindu from all over India without charging tuition. In 1903, the school transitioned to a college, renamed to Talim ul Islam College. It operated as such for only two years when it was forced closed due new regulatory criteria requiring that each college have adequate financial resources, qualified permanent faculty, and established facilities. This resulted in the school's closure until 1944 when the community was able to meet the requirements. The completion of the school year in 1947 proved to be the last year Talim ul Islam College remained open Kadian. In 1947, Pakistan and India gained independence. As a result, the majority of faculty and students made the migration to Pakistan, resulting in the permanent closure of the facility in Kadian. After a short time in Lahore, Talim al Islam College permanently established its location in Rubwa, Pakistan. Please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon below for latest informative videos. Promised Messiah laid the foundation for the college by starting Talim al Islam Middle School in 1898, which was upgraded to the high school level in 1901. The college was opened in 1903, but had to be closed down because it did not meet the requirements of the Punjab University. In 1944, the second caliph laid the foundation of what was soon to become one of the most prestigious colleges in India. Mirza Nasir Ahmad was appointed principal, and the college was housed in the spacious building of the Talim Al Islam High School, for which a new building was erected. The second caliph of the community steered the college through its most critical phases in 1947 when the college became homeless as a result of the independence of Pakistan in 1947. In Qadian, Talimul Islam College had a very imposing building. It was sealed on August 14, 1947 on the partition of India. After operating in an abandoned horse stable for several months, the college shifted to the abandoned building of the DAV College in Lahore. This building was used as a refugee camp for some time, and became badly damaged, but was repaired to suit the needs of the college. In Lahore, after constant endeavors, the building of DAV College was allotted to it. T. I. College started its work at it and was very soon able to revive its traditions of imparting excellent education. The building was dilapidated due to the influx of refugees, so it cost thousands of rupees to repair, buy college books and build laboratories. Despite these difficulties, the number of students rose to 267. In the same year, 
Telimal Islam College became one of the top colleges in Lahore. College activities soon reached their peak. Most of the students presented guard of honor during the visit of the Emperor of Iran were students of Telimal Islam College. Football, volleyball, badminton and swimming teams won medals for college. The college published a magazine, Young Economist, which was later renamed Almanar. The first seminar of Telimul Islam College Lahore was held on April 2, 1950, in which community's second caliph also participated, and in his speech, he said that one should always strive for progress, and while praying to God, one should always move forward. He said that good results can be achieved only when the right step is taken at the right time. Please subscribe our channel, like and share on your website and social media. Opponents also tried to close Telimul Islam College but could not stop the development of the college. The number of students increased to 500. In the riots against Amadis in 1953, Ahmadi student Mr. Jamal Ahmad was martyred. And to appease the opponents, Mirza Nasir Ahmad, principal of Talimul Islam College, was arrested only on the religious grounds. After this, on the instructions of Second Caliph, Talimul Islam College was established in Rabwar and it was soon shifted here from Lahore. Telimul Islam College Rabwa was inaugurated on December 6, 1954 by second caliph of the community and in his address he said that there would be religious freedom and students belonging to any religion would be able to get admission. Every student will worship according to his religion and ordering the student to worship is not interference in his religion. Also, the college will not hold any kind of protest. The door will always be open to resolve issues through dialogue. Then a college library was built in which all kinds of newspapers and magazines were provided. Muhammad Zafarullah Khan presented his personal library as a donation. Sir Muhammad Zafarullah Khan KCSI born in Sialkot on the 6th of February 1893 and died the 1st of September 1985 was a Pakistani jurist and diplomat who served as the first foreign minister of Pakistan. After serving as foreign minister he continued his international career and was the first Asian and the only Pakistani to preside over the International Court of Justice. He also served as the president of the UN General Assembly. He is the only person to date to serve as the president of both UN General Assembly and the International Court of Justice. There were also many students in this college who were coming to study from distant cities and also from other countries so hostel facility was provided for them in the college. The hostel name was fazal -e omar Hostel. This hostel was divided into four buildings. Prof. Chowdhury Muhammad Ali was the warden and Saidullah Khan was the superintendent. Every effort is made in the hostel to provide good food at low cost. Pure desi ghee is used in food. Meals are in the hands of students under the supervision of senior professors. There is a separate building of a tuck shop with hostel by the college. Where students can have breakfast and drink tea. Once the contractor for this cafe was Amir Ali, who is now a contractor for Jamia Amea. The health and education of the students were taken care in the hostel. Similarly, all Muslim students were required to say prayers five times a day, 
But no one was required to say Numaz behind an Ahmadi Imam if he was not an Ahmadi. But it was obligatory for every student to offer prayers on their own. Similarly, recitation of the Quran was also obligatory. Study hours were set at the hostel and each student was monitored for their seat during the study. Poor students would get special discounts and the college would pay the fees and other expenses on their own and this would be kept secret. The hostel also had a common room with newspapers and magazines and arrangements for indoor games. The hostel also housed international students from Indonesia, Malaysia, Ghana, Somalia, Nigeria, Mauritius and Tanzania. Telimul Islam College was considered as one of its programs all over Pakistan. Students from all over the country participated in the inter-college debate. The team of Talimul Islam College won this debate many times. Three Urdu conferences were also held in the college which were addressed by Urdu scholars of Pakistan and India. All Pakistan Basketball Championship would also be held in which teams from all over Pakistan would participate. All Pakistan wrestling competitions were held in the River Chinab. The team of Talimul Islam College won the Punjab University Championship for many years. In addition, many eminent scientists, writers and poets also used to come and address the college's guests. There were also societies of various disciplines whose monthly meetings were held on picnics on the river Chinab. Please wait for the second part of the video. But for this if viewers give their comments in comments box we will appreciate them and we can easily make more better video as per public demand. Please subscribe share and like our channel on your websites and social media and press the bell icon to get the latest videos.